All right, so we're going to start off with this reference image and work our way towards a basic model. Now I know what you're thinking, this looks like garbage, but sadly, we need some basic models because without other objects in a scene, adding details is a pain because you have nothing to compare them to. Anyway, I won't waste any more of your time, let's get going. All right, so I'm gonna start off by making a cube and let's just scale it up so it's larger than everything we see. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is basically because I don't see the roof up here. Uh, next up, I'm just going to delete this front face that I have. And I'm going to come over here and get into the camera view. Alright, so now I can just move this up to around here. Should be fine. Let me just get in here. Also, let's hide all of the overlays for this view. Okay. Um, let's just move this further up and all right uh, what's wrong with my screen cost keys though let's just keep that here okay that's much better all right so for example I have like one cut here one cut here but basically the top is visible which is shouldn't be so I'm just gonna move that up say this high and all right let's just fix all the normals so basically flip them because it was a cube the normals were were like outside at first okay let's add the details now um i'm not gonna add like a lot of details this is just gonna be like the basic so let's just move this down say this much and let's just enable this so I'm just going to move this over here, get the bed say this much, select both of these, and ooh, okay, that's that, my bad, say two over here, and two over here. And I'll just get like one more bit over here. Okay, so right now there is a problem. Basically, the camera does not seem fine. I will like just slightly do this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, next up I need the window. So I'm pretty sure the window is like not actually touching the wall. It's gonna be like basically starting over here. So let's just get into edit view and add a loop cut over here and I'm gonna make the window go all the way say let's just take it all the way over here yeah okay um, next up I just need to select this and I'm gonna insert this further that's more like it and I'm gonna extrude it out Oop. my bad shoot it out there we okay it, the snapping was on <laughs> all right and then we can just delete this face from over here so that's the basics of it done um, I do need to add like this panel in as well um, the bed has a back that basically looks like actually no okay okay it does that's fine, we can do that later. Um, let's see, can we select both of these? So, oh, the cursor is like actually at the world origin. That's fine, let's just create another cube and move around here, get around here. Alright, so now we're like starting to run into some problems because I didn't actually trace on this image, I just I'm just like making something that's similar to it. So what's happening is basically my proportions are slightly off. I say slightly, but they're actually off by a lot. Um, that That's fine though. Um, oh my god. I accidentally put this inside. Okay, time to like actually be sad. Alright. And yeah, I accidentally made that like a part of the actual mesh. That's fine. And this out. Move it up, say, one bit. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's gonna be the same height as the bed. So say this back and over here. Okay, so that's that side done. And now we need to do the same on the other side. So I'm just gonna duplicate it and move it along the x-axis and just bring it over here. All right, um, this bit needs to move up though. So let's just move it up around here. Okay, um, next up I do need some for the curtains. The curtains are going to be a problem. Let's just move this over here. Um, I'll do the curtains at the end to be honest. The cloth simulation and everything else like that, I'll just do those at the end. Uh, let's just select this. Cursor to select it. I need to make a plane. Rotate it, move it up, scale it along the X. This will be the painting. Uh, let's just move it front and just extrude it back. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put some abstract art in there, something I did like ages ago. Um, Okay, so these two, okay, they're identical, so they shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, let's just select this, move the cursor over here. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm just going to add one cube. Move it around here, make it... Yeah, I guess this much is fine. Um, actually, is it though? This is also not fine. The bed has like actual feet, so like I need to add those in as well. Um, that's that can wait though. Okay, so let's just do this bit first. So like this, move it up around this much. Uh, so that is how many is that? Eight. Okay, and let's just do eight over here as well. And after that, all we really need to do is just. I mean, I could have just used a mirror modifier, but it's not really that much work, so it's fine. And then we just like Alt D and move along the X over here. Alright, it's looking good, it's looking good. Um, these things as well, uh, do I really want to add them right now though? You know what, let's just make them anyway. I'm just gonna make like a couple of planes and um, let's just rotate it. Actually, why don't I just copy this and shift S selection to cursor, there we go. And then I just rotate it along the z-axis, I believe, yeah. Just move it out a little bit. Okay, scale it along the y-axis. Move it up. Around here. Actually, move it down and then scale it along the z-axis. Much better. And I believe it should be just inside. And then just create another linked copy and move it over here. Just gonna move it here so I can go inside and then scale it. Much better. I'm not trying to do like a proper trace though. Um, honestly, tracing stuff makes it too easy. And you don't really learn a lot while doing it, in my opinion. Like, you do learn the first couple of times you do it, but after that, it's just... You don't really learn a lot after that. Anyway, um... Okay. Why did I do that, like, five times? Okay, um, I'm just gonna create a cube. This is gonna be the exact same thing. Just up ahead. What are the, like, the dimensions for this, by the way? Um, let's just take a look at the view. The dimensions are along the X, right? 
Let me just copy that to be honest. Interesting. Okay, so I wanna by two. Interesting. So if I wanna move it along the z-axis by five point one. I, I, I guess not. <laughs> so 2.07 is what it tells me. You know what? Let's not. Just create another copy, move it along over here, create this thing, move it along over here, and then we can just edit the mesh. You know what? I'm lazy, so. Uh, let's just. This. Get uh, over here. Actually, that was fine. Let's move it. More. All right, that's a lot better. Um, next up, it does look like it has some sort of distortion, like foams and mattresses would get. But at the same time, this is like just the basic model. I'm not going to like add any special details to anything. Um, okay, lighting sources, lighting sources. Uh, okay, I do need a face back here though, but the face needs to like not be visible to the camera. So anyway, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna add a face. All right. And then I can just hide these for me. So just select this, Shift B. Oh, not Shift B, just B. Separate it and. I believe it's this one. I yeah, just hide it. Okay. Um, lighting, 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 lighting. Um, I am going to just use a basic sky texture for now. I believe it's over here. And the reason I'm doing this is because right now I don't want to like add an HDRI to this. Okay, it is lacking a lot of lighting. So what if I just do this? Okay. That's a lot better. That's a lot like, you know, more, that, that's a lot closer to what this picture has. Um, let's just turn on rendered mode down here as well. So we can take a look. Uh, am I happy with that? Yeah, I think I'm happy with that for now. Okay, we do need more lighting though. Um, the lamps don't have any lighting. It does appear like there is a light source up on top if you just take a look at this so I'm gonna add that um, for now I'm just going to do this so add a light source and it's just gonna be an area lamp just move it up over here and let's just scale it up actually let's scale it down Here. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking a lot better. Okay, and I think that should be enough for this part. Next up, we're gonna add more details to this model and actually work on maybe some, you know, curtains and shit. Thanks for watching and goodbye.